Hi everyone, welcome to day number 38 of my 121 day journey. And today I want to talk to you about something that I had a conversation with someone that stopped me in the gym. And uh, they just asked me, they said, you know, I've seen you, you know, around, I've seen you working out and you just, you just have this really small waist and what do you do for it? I just want to know, how do you, how do you get that small waist? And first of all, I say thank you. Obviously, you didn't see me a month ago, um, but uh, thank you very much. Um, here's one of the things that I think is very important for people who are trying to reduce their midsection, um, have a tighter waist without overdoing it, basically. The key is you don't want to focus on a whole ton of ab exercises if you're looking to do that. Number one, I believe that if you focus on... Um, working out with a heavy enough weight and you're doing a movement that requires your whole body to be involved, your core and midsection naturally tighten up when you do that. So that's the first thing. The next thing is you got to make sure you're not eating any foods that are causing your belly to bloat. And, you know, it could be all kinds of things that your body just can't digest properly or you don't have the right enzymes or you don't have the right... Uh, bacteria in your stomach and you know if your gut flora is not all that healthy I recommend getting some sauerkraut kimchi or something and just eating it to repopulate the good bacteria and that in itself should be enough to really get your get your whole intestinal uh, tract and uh, and stomach working properly um, stay away from anything that's gonna cause you to retain water around the midsection sugars um, you know, any sort of high wheats and, and flowers, they, they tend to hold more around the waist. Um, the last thing that I'd just like to say uh, on that topic is keep water um, going through your system. Try to drink a lot of water so that nothing's getting stuck there. Um, everything is still moving through. For exercise, um, as far as specific abdominal exercise, I recommend one thing, that's all I ever recommend, and that is not a crunch, it's not a sit-up of any kind. In fact, you start laying flat and you just lift your legs and that's it. Um, it you know, to make it really hard, try not to let your heels touch when you bring them back down to the floor and just lift them up again. You only need to do a few inches, but what this does is it engages the lower abs and that's typically where most of us see the issue. That's the bottom little pooch that we get, and most of us want to tighten that. And how to do that is to really just keep them contracted. Um, and the floor exercise is really good, and it's very good for people who might have a bad back or who may also have uh, an issue with doing crunches. Whatever you do, please don't be pulling on your neck and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you can just do a simple little leg raise. Um, some people, if they have a high arch in their back, you may want to put a little pillow under there. You may want to put your hands behind you, whatever's fine. And then you just slowly, we're not doing this fast, we never do our exercises fast. You slowly bring your heels up off the ground, go up a couple of inches, and then slowly bring them back down. If you feel like you need to have them touch the floor, go ahead. If not, keep the intensity on it and just keep going up and down. Um, for anyone who out there who's advanced and really wants to get a really powerful whole ab and uh, you know the whole core workout, you can start off in that position, but when you come up, you want to keep raising your legs the whole way up. And you might even start to pull your buttocks and everything. You just keep shifting the whole way up and make it a straight line up and down. And then you slowly bring it back down you don't let anything touch, maybe your bum a little bit, and then you bring it back up and you keep doing that. And that is an awesome workout. If you can get a lot out of that, you're like a superhero. So <laughs> that, that's amazing. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I'm about 30% of the way through um, my weight loss octagon challenge right now. So I'm still in, uh, I'm still in the lean body system. And uh, tomorrow is Canada Day, and I'm not quite sure yet if, uh, if I'm going to have myself a little treat. I think I will.
because it's 150 uh, years that uh, that we're celebrating here in Canada. For anybody that is in Canada, uh, hopefully you get to go out and have some fun festivities. And if you're here in the Maritimes, hopefully you're not going to get any rain. <laughs> so thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.